Hey, how's it going, everyone? I'm a little out of breath because I just ran around my house. Don't ask. So, we are continuing. I finally got everything kind of resorted. I think we're just missing like a single drug. These shelves, I'm still trying to get rid of, but the pharmacist will not come and grab these things. I've got all the vitamins. I am working on the supplements. The problem is they just get sold fast. So they just instantly disappear. And then every one of these products is here. I need to restock them, but when in the world don't I need to restock something, you know? So, I mean, the pharmacy is flourishing. We're out of bankruptcy. We've got everything on the shelves, including some of these expensive meds. I think right now, why don't we do this live? What do you mean I'm out to be seized? I don't owe any money. Liar. Let's buy one more shelf. And then there's one last drug that I need. And that is... Wait, what? Oh, it's this one. Okay, yeah, sorry. I get confused because I, I was like, I have that one. It's this one, the Norfex. But it's like $1,000, which is like way too expensive. What am I, Jeff Bezos? Like, calm down. But, uh... Alright, Mark Cuban. Let's go ahead, put this bad boy down. Now, with this shelf... That signifies basically, well, well, first we gotta buy the med. Once I buy the med, every single medication should theoretically be on the shelf. We can check all the current stocks. There shouldn't. Oh, well, never mind. That's empty. But it's not because I never bought it. There is a spot on the shelf for it, so that needs to get restocked. How are we doing here? I didn't even look. I'm lying. Okay, but yeah, it's that green. We're missing this one. The rest is kind of sh money though. But I want to save up a thousand for that one expensive med. And then we'll focus on shelving everything else. The other thing I re I had to redo. <clears throat> so, with the update, unknowingly came a lot of price changes. So a lot of my stuff I was selling for a loss. So I had to go through every single item and basically reprice it. So I wasn't losing money fist by by the buckets you know what i mean but i mean hey the big p we're up and running we've got everything maybe i'll stay here and chill with you guys until you get me my thousand dollars i see what is what is your name john i forgot what's his name mr no coat john his name is john i thought i knew my own employee like that bad boss that doesn't even know you exist and then we still have the two shops on either sides that I can buy, which I likely, well, I just don't know why I would need to expand. Like I, I have all of my stuff stored here. Now, the only way that I could possibly expand is if I wanted to have like an entire shelf for each med, then I might need more space. But at that point, I run into the problem of the pharmacists having to walk too far to get to the shelves. And at that point, I'm losing efficiency, and at that point, what's the point? You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I'm not a fan. I don't know if I'll be a fan of having just one drug on each of these. But at the same time, I mean, shoot, I just got out of bankruptcy, bro. I'm seeing dollar signs right now. Uh, once we get some money, maybe we'll do some remodeling. But And then we've also got the warehouse which we don't utilize in the slightest because there's no workers to come grab the crap. But you know what I am curious about? Did they ever fix the lighting? Oh my god, they fixed the lighting. Wonderful. So we can actually put lights in here now. Ayo. This is going to be my little bat cave. There we go. Bang. Okay, we got lights. We're officially not... In the dark like a little hobbit hole now again am i gonna put stuff in here no like okay let me ask you this right why would i put stuff on this rack when i could simply just put the box right here right if it's right here the least i could do is just come pick it up and bring it in if i put it all in the house i have i did just have to like waddle my way over here like the fat little pig that i am just to grab things and move them back like no, I'm not going to put stuff in there if there's if I can't pay someone to get it for me. So, yeah, I'm not going to be utilizing the warehouse at all. I'm just going to put my drugs out here if needed. But Or preferably have enough shells to where I can just have thousands of a single drug and I don't have to have extra 
wares, like the Khajiit. But, yeah, that's kind of how we're rolling with these updates. Still nothing out here, but, I mean, that's a lot to ask. I don't blame the guy for not developing a whole world in a matter of three days. But, yeah, I can't even go past this thing. And the people just kind of appear here. Fitness Center. Looks like, is that Arnold, bro? Is that copyright? I was looking for creatine, but couldn't find it. You're... You're getting creatine? Bro, you look like a chicken bone. What do you need creatine for? Also, why is there two of you? That's weird. Okay. I feel like I'm in a, one of those horror dreams that I have. Oh, I think I got the shmoney now. Hold on. Hold your horses. No! Oh, I bought the wrong meta. I'm a freaking buffoon. Okay, well, now we gotta wait a little longer. I can't believe I just bought the wrong med. I mean, I need this med, so I don't mind it. It's not like I wasted the money, but... That is not what I meant. Why can't I put... Why can't I put something there? Huh? Okay, hold on. No way that's a broken shelf, right? My nightmares are coming back. No way we have a broken shelf. I don't... I don't whatever. You know what? I'm not going to think about it. Oh my god, all my shelves are broken again. I didn't even notice. Oh, I got shafted live. Live on camera, I got shafted. No way. Oh, and 4K ultra wide. Why are all my things messed up again, dude? Like, dude, I'm losing motivation for this game when my stuff won't even stay in the right... Like, I I was so excited to get on and play tonight, and now I just, like, I don't even want to play anymore. Like, wh what's the point of me having a pharmacy, making everything look nice and color-coded and alphabetical, when some little goblin just comes over here and messed... Oh, my God. This game is losing me, bro. I love this game so much. But... Like, this can't happen, bro. Like, I don't care if I get stuck in a wall or... Like, I don't care. But, like, this... This, I care. You know what I mean? This is... This is I care, man. My poor drugs. All in unalphabetical order. I'm gonna be 100% with you right now. I might have to not play the game until they fix it. Because, like, again, this, this is just, like... This makes the game unplayable because I can't just keep buying shelves when they break. All of these shelves are still, like, I still have product on. This I can't even take off. I've been trying to take this off for a week. It's like trying to get gum off a desk, bro. Like, that's not going to happen. All right. That's another day. Honestly, I think it's time to put the game down until they fix the shelves, though. Which, for you guys, might actually be the next clip or the next video. I'm not sure how it's going to go, but yeah. I'm going to put the game down until the shelves are fixed. Because I, I... This is unplayable. Like, again, you guys know. I'm not... I'm not that big of a critic. Like, it's pretty easy to make me have fun in like a game. And I like this game. For the poopy asset flip that it essentially is. I like the game. But like, this is unplayable. Like, I can't play. This is not... This is not fun. This is just... I'm not playing this. Okay, so I'll see you guys either next clip or next video. I can't tell. But whenever the games get fixed... We'll be back. <clears throat> Alright, what's up, guys? I lied. I'm still playing Pharmacy Simulator because this game is fun and addicting. Okay, here is what's going on. Recently, I've taken an interest in how I'm pricing things to try to get optimal profit. So, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Obviously, each of these things has a certain average market price and then a price that I can put it to you know give me a certain amount of profit well what i noticed and i think this i think this was in the most recent update depending on what number you put it actually tells you very high or um let's still try to get high see a lot of this is super weird where so, uh, let me try to find a product that does it so let's just do like 14 you see 14 is very high about 13 13 is very high to, let me see, try to find a something that'll do it so this one's 57 let's put let's put like 65 
Okay, see how it says high, right? If we go any higher, it says very high. So I tried and tested kind of the sales rates of all of the items depending on if they're in the normal, high, or very high category. And I'm still in the kind of the beginning stages of testing it. But what I figured was, I think the best way to make profit is to stay right under the threshold of high because some of these numbers can get pretty large even at that stage. But I think that they're like the percentage of them being sold is still very high. Like I don't see many people declining them, even though they're actually bringing in quite a bit of profit. So yeah, I guess we can go through all the medications and see, but let me tell you guys kind of what I've tried so far. So I've tried setting everything to $99 because currently that actually is the max. If I put to 99, I can't, I can't do a hundred. 99 is max and absolutely nothing sold except one or two things so although when things sold they sold for a stupid crazy amount of money like again 99 dollars from a single item the problem is it didn't sell that often it sold maybe twice or three times a day and it would usually be the higher priced items anyway things like the bcaa and stuff like that so I thought, okay, so going to the max is not good for profit. I thought maybe, hey, the game is broken. I can maybe abuse and put everything to 99 and things will just sell at a rare, at like, you know, like a rare percentage, but things would still sell and I could just abuse it. Well, no, because the rate of selling is so low at $99, it's not even worth it. So I thought, okay, hey, what about $50? It's about half. Does that make a difference? And what I found is that it didn't really make a difference still nothing sold so i thought okay maybe it has less to do with the number and more simply just based on this the normal high and very high i figured that so let's just say i put it to one dollar or i put it to five dollar it's both in the same bracket so therefore i think they both have the same sale percentage now i don't know this because i haven't done like a proper study there's but this, this is my assumption because everything here is right below the high and it's selling pretty good. And I think if I lowered it, it might sell more often, but the amount of rejects that I'm getting is so low anyway. I don't think it is worth overall as far as profit lowering them any farther. You know what I mean? I'd rather take a couple of rejections, but sell everything for a crazy profit still. So I'll show you an example of what I had to do with all of the medications. So I noticed this one is actually, oh, wait, wasn't there one that was, I was just looking at one that was crazy priced. I must be tripping. Okay. Well, let's just pick a random product and mess with it. So let's just uh, screw this product. So let's, okay. It's $1 now. Okay. So what did I do with all the products? I literally just go and okay. So 12 is fine. 13 is fine. 14 is fine. 15. 16 is okay 17 18 is okay what about 19 okay 19 is high okay so i just put it to 18 it is right below that high so i think this will be the max profit for the percentage of people denying to buy it so that's what i did essentially there are a couple of items that are a little weird let's see i want to try to find the item that was weird was it this one so what's it at 17? Yeah, this item specifically is weird. At 17, it's high. At 18, it's not. And at 19, it's very high. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know why at 18, it's not high, but at 17, it is. And then 16, it's still high. 15 is normal. I can't tell if that's a glitch, but I don't think a lot of these were sold. Even though it's at 18, I'm assuming there's something broken with the game and it's actually still in the high category. So I'm going to leave it at 5, but that is weird that at 18 it doesn't show that. So yeah, that's essentially what I did with every single item I got right below the high. Now, some items are different. So let me show you an example. This shampoo is at 87. You might be thinking, David, wait a minute, that's like crazy high. It's actually not. 
for every single one of these I'm selling, I'm making 52, but it's not high. Let's see, if I put it to 86, it's not high. If I put it to 87, wait, what? 87, what about 88? Okay, 88 is high. 87 isn't, okay. What about 89? 89 is still high. Okay, so it's 87. That's a stupid, I mean, it's basically almost max. It's so close to 99, but I'm not even in the high or very high category. So this shampoo is absolutely making me bank. And there's a few items that do that. Same thing with the shampoo. I think at 61, it's 60. What about 61? Yeah, 61 is high. So I need to put it at 60 here. Those two items are absolutely making me bank. This electric toothbrush, same thing. It's extremely high without it dipping into the high category. And the supplements are crazy too. Yeah, like all the BCA is 45. The creatinine is 57, 57. The gainer and the wheat already all sold out. I literally just stocked them and they already sold out, which is nuts. Um, so yeah, specifically the supplements are making me like what, what was... How much do I sell the gainer? Yeah, the, the gainer? Oh, this one's absolutely busted. Look at this. I send, I sell this one for 97 and it's not even high. If I put it to 98, I think it goes high. Yeah. But again, I if I go to the high, I think it lowers my percentage by a lot. So I might as well just save that, you know, lose that dollar for the sales percentage. And again, it's selling. It's gone. I, I just put gainer back on the shelf and it's already gone, which is crazy. Yeah, I was about to say, no way the dude grabs it right when I said that. Um, the vitamins, same thing. Again, it's weird with the vitamins of all different average market prices. So they're all slightly different, but it's all 20, 21. This one's 17. So anyway, uh, that's kind of what I've been playing with in my own little time here as I've gone. Uh, I, I just got really interested in how I can basically sell these items for the maximum profit. And I think this is the way to do it. Getting right below. Now, again, is this proven? No, there maybe and this is something that i might want to test in the future for right now i'm happy let's just say i go to 11 and i go into okay so that's a terrible example because that goes straight into very high i wonder if it is profitable to go into the very into just the high so let's see what is 27 okay see all of a sudden i don't know why that 27 again doesn't show very high 27 I don't know why it why it does that with, ran, with random numbers, but okay, let's just assume that little gap wasn't missing. If I go to 26, this is the peak of high. Is it more profitable to leave it here at the peak of high instead of the peak of the normal? I'm not sure, but here at this point, it's only a $4 difference, right? I think it might be beneficial for that extra percentage of people actually buying it. That $4 is negligible, right? So... Those are my thoughts. If you guys play this game and know, tell me. But again, the, with the amount of people playing this game, there are zero guides on how this works. So nobody knows. If anything, I'm currently the expert in this. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, but I will probably be doing some more testing and kind of looking around and seeing what's up. Maybe I'll create the first guide. I don't know. I've never created a guide before. Maybe I'll be the one to create the first one for this game. But... As you can see, is my current strategy working? It is. Look, I've got $10,000 and this was from two days. Two. Clearly it's working because I'm making a lot of money and this is after I already bought all of the stuff. So it's not like um, I'm not spending any money. I am spending money. I'm buying a bunch. And the fact that I'm bringing in this much clearly shows that this is this is more profitable than the way I was doing it. And because before I would just bump it up by three or $4 and call it a day and thinking, oh, okay, if I go any higher, but not realizing that, well, and again, this might be a new feature. So of course I didn't see it in the past, but that high, very high is potentially extremely crucial to decide where your things are. Now you might also might notice, David, your shelves are extremely empty. Yeah, I'm tr currently trying to sell all of the medications off these shelves because I want to go through and just buy a whole new set of shelves. These ones, I'm I'm kind of just, I don't know. I I can't sell this stuff and I my, oh, I'm say I'm like forgetting the word. I'm kind of, my brain is just like, okay, I can't sell this stuff. Um, I've come to terms. Maybe that's what I'm looking for. I've come to terms with these shelves, but these ones, I think I can still sell everything off of. 
So that was kind of the plan. While I was testing the out front, I was letting my prescriptions sell so I could get rid of them. And then my plan is, and I know this is stupid because it's going to get messed up the first time I run into a glitch. I want to redo my shelves again and make everything in order and nice and all that. And I want to do that. And again, it's stupid because I know they're just going to get messed up because the game is still broken. But ah, uh, you, I don't know, man. I just want to, you know. So anyway, that's kind of what I've been working on. I know the last clip we kind of ended off on a somber note saying I'm not going to play the game until they fix it. And that's like kind of true. But I mean, for all I know, this might be the last time I play it until they fix it. But right now I'm having a bit of fun with this pricing. But OK, so here's the plan. I'm going to go back probably in time lapse mode. I'm going to keep playing with the out front. I'm going to keep stocking it, making sure I'm getting more money because in the end, I still need to pay the pharmacist and stuff like that. Um, and I'm going to keep stacking the money because when I need to buy shelves, those are going to be expensive. And then I'm going to keep letting the prescription sell. Hopefully I can get rid of as many shelves as possible. And I'll buy new shelves and go ahead and restock them and get them nice and organized. And maybe we can turn this pharmacy into something real nice. And of course, I'll I'll need to get more vitamin shelves and more supplement shelves, especially more supplement shelves, because I want to make honestly like one entire shelf, one item because these sell so stupidly quick. But OK. I'm going to just go ahead and keep playing and uh, I will see you guys in a little while. Okay, everybody, I'm back actually five seconds later. Yeah, I'm fully addicted. Here we go. Let's sell some of these shelves and maybe we can just get started like right now. Might as well. So, so many of these are empty. I could start at least organizing a few of them. And even like this, I could probably just yoink. There we go. Just put this over here. Sell this one too. And look, some of these might be broken. Some of these might not be broken. But to be honest, with the amount of money... Oh, this one's completely empty. With the amount of money that I have... Like, okay, I can afford shelves now. I'm not too... Not too worried about it. Do you know what I mean? So let's go ahead and move this over here. Yeah, that's fine. And then let's go ahead and move this. I want to make sure I have a clear separation <clears throat> of broken and non-broken. Because, funny enough, I don't think this was on camera. <clears throat> a lot of... Okay, I'm going to be honest with you guys. There was a little while where I just didn't want to record with a vid with like a face cam. And I'm sure you guys noticed that. Um, And during that period, a lot of things happened, which I didn't include in the videos. Like, you guys saw me go bankrupt once. I actually went bankrupt like three times. I just didn't include the other two because I just didn't see a point in it. Uh, but there was... A few times where I reorganized the shelves just for them to get messed up again. That happened a few times. It wasn't just the one or two times that I actually showed on camera. And I was, I swear I was going somewhere with this, but I don't remember. So we're going to go ahead and move on here. Okay, store, furniture. All right, let's buy, I don't know. I mean, I feel like $3,000 isn't like a crazy amount at this point. You know what I mean? The amount of money we have and i will just have to really focus on uh see that's the other thing i really should be investigating is what is the trigger for that bug the bug that causes all the medications to get mixed up i can't tell if that's me just quitting the game or if it's specifically quitting the game when there is customers still inside I have a feeling <clears throat> it's really more about quitting mid game that causes things to go haywire. If I just save and quit normally, it doesn't do that, at least not to my knowledge. But I guess we'll see what will happen. We're going to go ahead and get all these meds nice and tidied up and I'm going to live. I'm going to go ahead and save and quit at the end of the day, you know, not in the middle of the day. And we'll see if I come back and everything's mixed up, then we're going to I'm going to cry live on camera and it will be what it will be. So first non prescription, let's just go ahead and buy one of each. And I swear in this playthrough, we've done this a few times where we just go through and buy one of everything. So this this isn't something that's kind of unfamiliar to us here, but. 
And this time I'm also going to do something weird where we're just going to go ahead and do this all at once. Usually I, I use, like I separate when I'm buying them, but I have enough money where I don't actually have to do that, which is interesting. Okay, so I'm in the white, and so I have to go here. One, two, three. And there's a not a whole lot of medications in green and red. So although these are expensive, it's not a whole lot of them, which is kind of interesting. So it doesn't cost as much as you might think. There can only be a maximum of 50 boxes. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. Okay, so we, now we know that there's a limit. <clears throat> Here's the thought I've just had, though. Really? I should not do anything because I need these things to sell off the shelf first, right? If I get new meds and put them in the places, this stuff is never going to sell. But at the same time, once the game gets fixed, I'll just be able to get rid of these shelves. Like, does it matter? Maybe I'll just take these shelves and shove them in the corner. Or even maybe I'll I'll expand into the left or right and just put all these shelves somewhere else. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm just going to have the hopeful thinking that the game will eventually get fixed. And I'll just put these shelves elsewhere. Okay. Let's go with that plan of uh, optimism. Maybe misplace optimism, but that's fine. But I also think these prescriptions, funny enough, aren't making me as much money as you might think they are. I'm pretty sure my, my little pricing adventure with these items is what's bringing in like 99% of the money. These things genuinely aren't the money makers anymore which is kind of hilarious that i'm trying so hard to like keep it afloat and fight through the glitches when <clears throat> i almost like just like shouldn't even be fighting for them it, it, it might not even be worth it these aren't even making it but then again at that point what's what's the point of playing the game if you're not gonna play with the prescription medications you know what i mean and also uh, in the past few videos, whenever we've seen new drugs, you guys know that I like to take a little time and maybe talk about some of the drugs for fun and just say some of the interesting things. I realize that I haven't done that for the green or the red prescriptions and I'm hoping too soon. I, I don't know if you guys even like that or not, but I know we kind of just bought the licenses and then moved on and then I never took the time to talk about them, but I'm hoping too soon once honestly this whole deal with the shelf has kind of demotivated me to a point where like you know editing those videos where i'm really adding a lot of extra the editing takes a long time and sometimes you know when this game has such major bugs it kind of demotivates me from playing the game but it also demotivate demotivates me from trying to like make really nice videos too so when I was first unlocking the green and the red prescriptions. It was in the middle of everything going wrong. Like I, I really didn't have the motivation to try to like spice up the video by adding, you know, some real information from a pharmacist. But I think once we kind of get rolling here, maybe we'll get everything fixed. We'll try our best to avoid breaking everything. And we're back in the group of things. I think I'll take a step back and we will retake a look at all of those medications and we'll do a deep dive into them, you know, from uh, a pharmacist's point of view. And again, I'm to be honest, so I'm recording this video before a lot of those other videos are released. So I haven't gotten any form of feedback on those videos. I don't even know if you guys like it. I'm going to be honest with you. But that's kind of, um, you know, so pharmacy simulator, right? I'm going to be honest with you. This is a terrible representation of what actually happens at a pharmacy. And I think I haven't clearly stated that yet, which maybe I should have done this a lot sooner. But you guys might be wondering, because I haven't said it like, hey, David, is this like actually like how a pharmacy runs? And to some of you, that might be obvious to some of you, it might not be. But no, this this is not how a normal pharmacy runs like this is. The features that are included in this game are maybe like 5 to 10% of what actually happens in a normal pharmacy. And even a lot of this stuff is completely wrong. 
Um, so me adding that extra information into the video specifically um, about, you know, like when I added, when I told you guys about some of the regulations around prescriptions, talking specifically about some of those drugs, or maybe adding a bit more info on how a normal pharmacy works. I, I think that's pretty important because this game doesn't really give you a whole lot of what actually happens in a pharmacy. I was hoping it would, but it doesn't. So I, I think it, it, it just makes it even that more important for me to be able to provide with actual knowledge about what happens in a pharmacy. So if you're watching a pharmacy simulation game, you actually get tidbits of what uh, really happens because of course you're watching a simulator. Although it's a video game, I think the point of these simulators is to simulate what's going on in, in real life and this game doesn't do it. So I'm going to have to do it through my, you know, my tiny little pea brain lectures that I like to give. But, and saying that, again, I really would love your guys' feedback as far as the videos go and um obviously i think this is a game that i'm going to be playing for a very long time just because it's something that's like it's kind of weird but it's like it's kind of close to home for me it, it, it's the it, there's finally a game out there that is supposed to represent you know what i do as a career it's kind of cool you know any mechanic will love to play a mechanic simulator any any person any job would love to play the simulation of their own job just because it's fun and wacky and a little goofy you know so I don't think I'm going anywhere. I, I will definitely follow this game through its updates and through all the, uh, through everything. Now, of course, that is in the event that the developer isn't treating it as a cash grab and actually continues to update it into the future. Um, you never know. You know, I, I don't know who made this game. I've never bothered to look into it or contact them, but for all I know, they could be a scumbag and they're just trying to make a quick dollar and leave and never update the game again because they got their money from me. But I truly hope that isn't the case. I, I hope whoever made this game plans to continue to expand it and add more features because if they do, I will be here for it because I like this game. And again, I, at this point, I'm just trying to stay in the side of wishful thinking because I, I, I really just want this game to continue growing because I, I just think it's something it's neat. And as much as I also hope that maybe it becomes a little bit more accurate to real life, I understand that is extremely hard to do, right? <clears throat> How a pharmacy works is extremely complicated. And I understand why that, that can't just be put into a video game. Like, I, mean, I don't know how to say it, but there's, there's entire classes based around a, a lot of these ideas that take months to learn and master like even the simple concept of checking a script you know how hard it would be to implement checking scripts into this game it's the fundamental thing that pharmacists do is verifying prescriptions that is so because you'd have to i mean i guess with ai maybe it wouldn't be so hard <laughs> you know just get ai to write some scripts and put random assortments of problems inside of them but i get my point is in real world, pharmacy can get very, very complicated, um, especially with like fridge medications. And I think the biggest thing, <coughs> you guys have to excuse me. The biggest thing is, and this is something I also haven't talked about, partly because there's nothing in the game to bring it up, but laws and regulations as far as the pharmacy. <clears throat> so far, we talked a little bit about the laws and regulations around prescriptions themselves but the biggest thing with pharmacy is the amount of rules and laws and policies um, that you basically have to keep track of you know everything in the pharmacy needs to be documented everything you know from inventory to cleaning to licenses you know every pharmacist and license tech licenses expirations you need to keep up with ce's as far as like you know, if for license, you keep up with CEs, um, the fridge <clears throat> needs to, the temperature needs to be tracked to make sure those medications inside are properly stored. Um, there's a million things. Again, there's a lot of paperwork with controlled substances as far as, you know, if they get stolen or lost or returned, all of that needs to be tracked there. And again, I'm just hitting the tip of the iceberg of things that need to be kept track of in a pharmacy. And Obviously, we don't do any of that in this simulation, but again, I understand how hard it would be to implement that. Of course, 
uh, also being due to so many pharmacies are ran in different manners, different large companies, different smaller independents. Um, they have different regulations that they have to abide by. Like, you know, a certain large chain might have some paperwork requirements that some other people don't. But at the same time, there is a lot of regulations that kind of apply to everyone as a larger whole. But yeah, I, I also I understand how they can't make this game completely lifelike. I understand that. I, you know, I'm not going to not going to harp on it too much. You know what I mean? I'm. And you guys know this. I'm appreciating this game for really what it is. It, you know, if I didn't like this game, I really wouldn't have stuck around so far with all the bugs these you know, these nerds have been hitting me with. But okay, so we are at Pain Eve here. Let me see. I actually managed to yap during the entire time of re, re you know redoing my stock. It looks like there's just one medication. Okay, let's just order one of those. Look at that. We're back up to all the way to two thousand dollars. Okay, I think. Once I move this, we will be set. Okay, let's put that there. Perfect. The perfect amount of shelves to go ahead and get everything re restarted and re-going here. Right. So let's go ahead and put this. Officially, our shelves are back in order for the most part. Of course, these things are still messed up. But here's what I'm thinking. How much is this shop deposit i think i can buy it hold on can i oh my god i have access to the warehouse from this store now okay here's what i'm i'm, I'm scared to put all my extra shelves from here to here I'm scared the pharmacists are going to walk all the way out to try to grab the med. I don't think they will, though, as long as I have everything stocked over there. I didn't realize that this, like, actually connects. That's actually kind of cool. I could potentially use that in the future for sure. I'm checking the text. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and move anything that's broken over to the other part of the building. Luckily, with the amount of stuff in the game, I actually don't really need to expand into the larger store because there's there's not that much stuff. You know what I mean? I mean, unless I want to get like 20 shelves of everything, which, you know, that might be the case in the future. Or maybe it'll be the case tomorrow because I'm kind of a try hard. But for now, let's just get the goal of having the pharmacy completely clean and nice and tidy and i think that would be kind of cool in my 18 minutes i am and i am yapping bro but it's okay i'm if you guys don't see i'm kind of in a yappy mood okay i think officially this is the last broken shelf once i move this out our pharmacy will be nice and clean and dude look at all these shelves that are broken <laughs> Just a giant line. And then look at all the medications that are still on them. I wonder how much money is on these shelves, like, alone. I don't know. And what I'm thinking of doing, maybe I will expand, but maybe I'll just expand in this direction. I think that, that'd be a smarter idea. Because now that I think about it, I do want to have just, like, an enormous amount of shelves with everything. So I have to, like, barely ever restock. But I'll just expand in this direction. I think that'll just make everything easier. And then I'll also have to buy the warehouse. Wait, the where there's a warehouse here too, right? Yeah, there's a warehouse here too. So I'll just buy those two. Um, but now I kind of get, I got to get back on the money making train here. I just spent 10,000 on all these meds. So I mean, the money will come back to me considering all the money that I've spent. But see, okay, like all of this is already gone, which is crazy. I think these ones specifically, I might have to get two or three shelves for they just like they run out so quick but yeah i think truly now i will go into a time lapse and try to stack as much money as possible and the next thing we'll do i definitely think is just going to be buying more vitamin stands a lot more supplement stands and just basically decking out this pharmacy and then expanding over there i think that's definitely the next move all right guys thanks for watching